Hey everybody, it's Outdoors with Lori. I'm out at the uh, Raleigh County or the Beckley YMCA comp uh, soccer complex and it is a great facility. A lot of people will just walk the track. I get bored with that, but they really have some great trails out in the woods. Um, I do try to bring you to places where uh, where most people don't know where they're at or you know something just a little out of the way. I'm not big for lots of, of crowds. I was out at um, um, Keeney's Creek Trail the other day trying to avoid all the crowds that are at Long Point and Endless Wall and all that now that it's a uh, national park. So if you're ever in the area I, I probably, I mean, eventually I'll do those trails for you uh, when I have time, like in the evening during the week, when I know it's not going to be so crowded. But I'm going to take you places that are kind of um, not as popular. Uh, I just like to get out in the woods. This little trail I'm going to do today probably will take me about two hours. It's just... Um, on the right around the perimeter of the soccer complex. There's many trails through here. If this one trail that feeds off of this Gray Flats Trail is open, uh, I may go ahead and do it because I haven't. They had to close it because they had like a mudslide. And I think they created a new trail and it looked kind of promising, so we'll see. I'm gonna shine. So I'm starting right here. It's a little over um, two miles, and there are little side trails that you can take. This is the condition. It's a, a wet, uh, kind of light, sprinkly, rainy day, colder. Um, it's in the like low 40s. Uh, but I'm, I was surprised. I actually saw like two or three people out here walking just walking the main trail like not the trail but the, the main track so I was a little surprised that people out on a Monday today's a holiday for me so um, that's why I'm out on a Monday not working but hopefully we'll see some pretty things and I'll show you some places that you haven't seen before I just want you to hear the birds. They've been very vocal. I don't know if they're all that crazy about me coming through. There's one right up above me. I'm thinking it's a blue jay. They're a bigger bird. I'm waving at him. Hi there. They're sending out a warning. Somebody's coming through the woods. Well, looks like this has been opened and it looks intriguing. Boulders, edge, trail. Looks like where I'm heading. I could continue on on this trail, which is also a great trail, but we'll see. Looks like a fairly new little bridge. I think this is a fairly new trail. Um, the people that build and maintain these trails out at the uh, soccer complex really do a fantastic job. This is typical of West Virginia, at least southern West Virginia trails. Kind of a sloping up and down, sometimes steep up and down, along cliffs, along creeks. You're usually walking through these laurel groves, which kind of gives me that feeling of 
uh, the Wizard of Oz when they were walking toward the Wicked Witch's castle. And this is just kind of what you see. Very pretty. You're just surrounded by floral rhododendrons and sometimes tea, tea berry groves. Just a gentle up and down of the trail along the, the mountain's ridge and then you stumble up on little creeks like this every now and then. Okay, so I took a little side trail that I found accidentally a couple years ago. The thing is, this all used to be level with this, and all you'd have to do is take a little jump over. So now, I'm not sure if I can make it over to really let you see the beautiful views. I'm not sure if I get, I mean, I know I can climb down here, but I don't know if I can get, if I can climb back up, and I'm afraid to kind of go across those that if they give way, then I might be stuck. So I don't know what to do. I'm kind of, I'm gonna ponder on it for a little bit. Walked out to, on the same side to the edge and you can kind of see down over it's had like a mud slide and then there are people that I, wouldn't you just love to live in one of those homes looking down over the gorge wouldn't that be awesome i'm still not sure like i walked through all that um it's just too far to jump i think you know what i mean just too far to I know me like if you mess up your SOL Let me see if I can get over to where you can see down in there see all that's giving way like all that came from it fit through here so, but, oh, when when I used to be able to jump over here the views are just amazing makes me sick that I can't figure out how to get over there. So I'm at a crossroads and if you see back in the distance there's a platform where um, people come and do some outdoor yoga and exercise. Typically I go this way and come to the other end, the back end of the uh, soccer complex and then just walk back to the car. It is the raining, the rain is picking up and I'm feeling a little puny. I had a light breakfast and no lunch. And I didn't bring anything with me to eat. So I'm kind of feeling not too great. So I am going to do, if I remember, this is kind of a little shortcut that kind of leads me about halfway or a quarter of the way on the main road toward my car. So that's the way I'm going. This is where I've been. I came that way and we'll see where it pops me out. So I made my way out. I ended up getting on what looked like some deer paths and I learned through past experience to always stay on the trail. Don't get off, especially when you're looking at what's behind me because once you get off, man, it all looks the same. But anyhow, I ended up popping back up on a trail. I have no idea what trail it was because I don't think I've walked this one before. But it got me right out where I thought it would be. So I'll be done in about 10-15 minutes. It's taken me about three hours with all of the diversions. And as you can hear, the birds are singing. So that's always a good sign. The rain is coming down a little heavier. I'm, I have my hood on. And, but anyhow, have a great day.